In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to impart spin and we're going to take a look at the physics behind these shots. We will be breaking down the outside draw shot and the inside follow shot with a 240 frame per second slow motion up close video. So without further ado, let's get into it. First things first, here's a couple of tips on our mechanics. Make sure you maintain a level cue or as level as possible when you shoot these shots. Also, strike the cue ball low and don't stun draw. Make sure that you go through the cue ball with good action so that you're shooting with finesse power. Another tip is to pull the cue back slowly and have a good hesitation before you transition to the forward motion. And here's my recommended locations for the cue ball and the object balls. Notice the cue ball is at center table here and we'll call this shot one and I would recommend starting from this position. For shot two, I have placed a paper reinforcement at the head spot. This position is a little bit more difficult because of the angle being straighter and the distance between cue ball and object ball being much greater. And speaking of object ball, I'm using the eight ball and the eight ball is at the second diamond and it's one ball width off the side cushion. Our goal is to find good position to the nine ball so that we can pocket it in the lower right corner. So now let's take a close up view of the action through the cue ball and I'll pause it here just before I contact it. Try to knife through the cue ball as low as possible without miss cueing. I like to cradle my cue with a two finger thumb grip where I actually hinge off my fingers and the inside of my thumb. I also maintain a flexible wrist. Notice here how the revolutions on the cue ball go all the way down to the object ball. That's the key to this shot. So now let's take a look at this cool view of the spin rate on the cue ball as it travels to the object ball. Remember, when you're shooting these shots, you need to deliver the spin all the way to the object ball. Also notice how the side spin grabs the cushion and propels the cue ball back up table towards me. Let's take another look from a different angle. The power in these shots comes from letting the cue do the work. And what makes that happen is for us to maintain a super loose grip. And once again, I use a two finger thumb grip as I go through my cue ball. So now we're gonna take a look at a deep dive and I want you to check this out. I captured this in this video and during edit, I thought it was really cool to show. Notice how the cue ball is drawing off the eight. You can really see it here. It's coming backward, hitting the cushion and then spinning back up with a side spin towards me. Another thing I found to be fascinating, even though I'm shooting into a two and three quarter inch wide opening, I even hit the rail on the way in and it still goes in the pocket. Since we have such a thin incoming angle, the pocket is very accepting. Now it's time to look at our inside running spin shot. Now these are actually pretty simple because both balls are frozen to the cushion. And even though I've come up a little bit short here, I prefer this because the straighter we are on these shots, the tougher they are to pocket. And like our draw shot, we're gonna take a look at this one up close and personal. At first, you may think I'm cutting this ball down the rail, but in reality, this is actually a kick shot where I'm going rail first into the object ball. I'm going to include a second video within the pinned comment where I get into this shot in more detail with once again, 240 frame per second, close up slow motion video. And here you can see when the cue ball arrives to the cushion, we have not yet struck the nine ball. Now you'll see the nine ball move after it crushes the cushion. I'm missing the nine ball by about a 16th of an inch to drive it down this cushion. And just to let you know, I actually didn't hit it perfect, which is an indicator that there is more margin for error on these shots. And here's how you shoot these. You're gonna to wanna to load up with pure side spin. And in this case, I'm hitting left side spin or inside spin so that I can go rail first and drive this nine down the rail. So now that we know how to make the shot, let's see how we can play position from it. And like with our draw shot, we wanna maintain a very level cue, as level as possible when we stroke through these shots. And once again, avoid any stun spin. Try to stroke through this shot with a good follow through and hold the follow through as you knife through the cue ball while you impart spin. 
As I zoom up here and slow it down even more, notice how the cue ball hits the cushion well before the eight ball. And then it drives it down into the corner pocket. Now naturally, this side spin is gonna propel off that lower rail and then shoot back to the side rail and back up table for this nine ball. Two really important shots that every player must know. And remember this, when you're shooting that draw shot, it's got to be a real loose grip. And you want to check out that tutorial that I've got pinned in the comments because that's going to really break that down. And not only that one, but the other tutorial where we go rail first to drive that eight ball down that cushion, that's a hanger shot when you learn that one. If you found this video to be helpful, please share this video. It helps my channel and I need your help. Please hit that thumbs up because that helps drive the algorithm. And please visit my website, ronthepoolstudent.com. And if you'd like to help the channel by supporting it, pick up some merch. We would greatly appreciate that. And if you'd like to see another informative tutorial, watch this one right here. And until next time, like I always say, keep on practicing.